Hi everybody, this is Arash and today I'm going to create a missile game with you. Uh, we are going to create uh, something like a plane or aircraft or something like this. And uh, there are going to be some missiles in the screen and they are going to hunt us and we should evade them. Alright, let's go. Uh, this is the uh, default web uh, default page of uh, Scratch. I delete uh, the default uh, what is called cat or something, and let's uh, create a new sprite or something like this. And we are going to paint something. I am going to paint, a, for example, something like this. This is going to be me. Let's uh, choose another color for it. For example, uh, I'm going to fill it to green or something like this. Okay, this green uh, is going to be my airplane. Uh, all right, and let's um, let's create another mode for it too. This is the costume one. It's called. Um, let's call it the healthy one and I'm going to create another one too uh, what did I touch I'm going to create another one too uh, let's create um, something like this uh, this 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 and this is going to be for example when our miss when our plane um, is uh, touched by a missile and they are exploded so we have two shapes this is the exploded one and this is the healthy one uh, all right let's go to code I'm going to add an event the event is when green flag uh, clicked. Uh, whenever this happens, I'm going to add a repeat forever. So something should happen forever. What is that thing? First of all, we should uh, point the direction of our plane to our pointer, to our mouse. So I'm going to go to looks or maybe motion. Uh, Alright, it's in motion. Point towards the uh, the mouse pointer. So when I click it, it will be something like this. For now, it's just looking at my mouse. Okay. Then I'm going to add um, move ten steps. But ten might be a lot. Let's make it two or three. Let's make it a three. And now start it. So. We have now our missile. This looks good and it uh, follows our mouse. It's, um, okay, let's edit uh, my sprite and let's go to costumes. And I should, I prefer to move it to the center of my screen so it will look uh, more natural, I guess. So let's check the code again. Yes, I like it more now. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to copy this. So I click, right click, choose duplicate, and this is another one. And um, let's choose a name for each one of them. The first one, let's call it. Um, where is the rename option? Oh, it's here. Let's call it me or mm, play something like this the second one let's call it the missile this is the one that is going to haunt us let's choose another color for it I'm going to click fill and let's choose for example red and when it explodes it should be red too okie dokie so uh, this is our plane and this is the missile 
Now I'm going to copy uh, the code inside the missile too. I'm going to drag this piece of code and drop it in the missile. So now both of them have the same codes. But uh, in the missile, let's we can um, change the speed. For example, make it two steps or something like this. Let's run the code to check how what happens. Okay, this is uh, the result. The red one is uh, persuading the green one. Okay, now we are going to um, let's change their size a little bit. Let's make them 50 each. So red one and green one. Let's make each one of them 50. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to choose random position for the missile whenever the game starts. So in the missile I'm going to add a uh, Mm, go to go to random position here let's check it out looks fine let's and try another one looks fine try another one try another one okay it works fine now I'm going to add uh, a check to my game to check whenever the missile touch uh, touches the plane they should both explode and my game should finish so I'm going to mm, let's go to plane for example and choose uh, it should be in sensing then it touches the, oh I should put an if from uh, the control section if something happened what is that something? It's whenever um, my plane touches the color of missile. So let's choose its color here. All right. Whenever this happens, uh, let's um, put a sound for it. For example, let's go to sounds. Maybe here. Um, this is the default sound I don't like it I don't know uh, if it's available for you or not but I'm going to record my own sound I hope uh, this will be available uh, in the video uh, let's change the audio player okay I think you should be able to hear it now. Okay, uh, I'm going to delete it and record my own sound. For example, um, where is the record option here? Oh, I didn't hit the record. So, okay, so this is going to be our cool and awesome uh, voice let's trim it a little bit okay let's save it and now let's uh, go back to our plane here whenever our plane touches the color of that missile we are going to play our recording sound to the end and then uh, we are going to stop we are going to stop off let's check it out this is our um, plane and this explodes and alright let's um, modify it a little bit we can also instead of uh, pointing toward the mouse pointer for the missile we can change it to pointing toward the plane it will look better let's try it okay looks fine now we are going to explode both of them too um, so let's 
uh, here I'm going to change the custom to so whenever this happens uh, you should play the sound and switch custom to exploded for this and um, for let's uh, do this first for the plane oh I forgot to <laughs> whenever my game resets and starts over uh, it doesn't have the first custom so let's modify it to tell for example whenever the green flag is clicked in the beginning it should set uh, the custom to healthy one let's check it let's check it okay looks fine now we are going to uh, copy the same um, if to uh, let's create it. Uh, we are going to create the same if for the missile too so whenever the missile touches the color of uh, let's pick the color of my plane it should change the custom to explode it and it should stop its script and in the beginning it goes to random position let's um, choose the position for our plane 2 for example we can choose that in the beginning it should go to uh, x and y of 0 it means in the middle of screen okay let's check it out this is my plane and this is the missile we are trying to avoid it and boom it explodes we can uh, repeat the same thing with multiple missiles too uh, for example I can choose this missile and click duplicate and now let's try it again now I have two missiles trying to haunt me and I should evade them you can also make it more cool by uh, adding the option and uh, adding the self kill to missiles so they can uh, if they uh, came too close to each other they can explode each other and we win so let's pause it for the missiles let's check and uh, another if let's duplicate this if what did I touch let's duplicate this if and we are going to say that if the missile touched the color of another missile it should switch the custom to explode and let's choose another sound for it for example um, we play the sound of a simple pop let's try it we, are sh we should try to evade oh oh nothing happened it was because um, let's delete the missile oh and uh, we should um, make the missile custom right too in the beginning so in the beginning I should um, change the custom of my missiles to healthy one okay and let's delete the second missile again and duplicate the first missile let's start it okay we have two missiles 
we are going to oh I lost let's try it again I lost the game this time I'm going to win go 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 and this time I won all right uh, this was the simple plane and missiles game uh, created by me uh, this is a scratch programming, uh, simple programming for uh, children to make them familiar with simple concepts of if, while, loops and uh, creating simple games like this. I hope you have enjoyed my video. See you next time.